Hi, and welcome to Drinks with Bond. Um, I'm Ian, and joining us any moment should be... <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. Right on cue. So this evening we're going to be making mint juleps. Um, so the mint julep features in Goldfinger. Okay. It's a whiskey based cocktail, um, not too many ingredients. May, uh, three main ingredients, I guess, if you don't um, count the ice. So we've got bourbon, we've got some simple syrup, and we've got mint. Mint, yeah. from our garden. From our garden, yes, yeah, grown by my fair hands. <laughs> um, mint grows like a weed, it's really easy. So, first off, um, when Bond orders his mint julep at Goldfinger Stud Farm, he asks for it to be sour mash, not too sweet. The sour mash relates to the type of bourbon. With a sour mash, they use some of the mash from the previous ferment to start the fermentation process of the next batch of bourbon. Okay. It's like a start of double sour bread. So apparently, it adds to the depth of flavour of the bourbon. Right, okay. Um, we don't have loads of bourbon here in the UK. I couldn't find a sour mash. So instead, we have just gone for a really good bourbon. So we've got a wild turkey 101. And we're also going to do one with the Jack Daniels, because the Jack Daniels is a sour mash. Well, it's not a bourbon, it's a whiskey. So, let's kick off. I'm gonna do one, Rachel's gonna do the other. Do you wanna be a wild turkey, or do you wanna be Jack Daniels? I'll be Jack Daniels. Uh, first off, the not too sweet, um, qualifier, I guess, the bond puts on it, is how much simple syrup you add to the mint. So, not too sweet, meaning we don't want too much. Okay. So there's not much left in here, but I'm gonna go about that much. Yeah, and if you finish off there from yours, you shall about the same. Great, now the problem is I've only got one muddling spoon. So I'll go first and yeah. Yeah. Like the, like the gentleman that I am, I'll go first. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> just, uh, just to demonstrate, purely to demonstrate the process. So you're just using the spoon, giving them in leaves, a good old stamp, firm press, trying not to kind of smash it too hard, otherwise all of your syrup will end up splashing out of the glass. But that will just, thank you very much, release the oils from the mint into the drink. So you use those muscles, go on, <laughs> show that mint who's boss. It's quite a lot of it. <laughs> Alright? Lovely. Looking good, yes. Getting a really nice smell now coming mm, up from this mint. Really fresh and wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, rather than measuring it, going to do a free pour. Lovely sound. One of the best sounds in the world, a cold <laughs> coming out of a bottle. Now I've muddled mine a little bit more energetically, vigorously. Yeah. So it's a little bit lower in the glass, but if you take those up to around there, okay. same sort of uh, place. My lady. So generous pour, yeah? Yeah, generous pour of Jack. More? Yeah, go on. Lovely. Next up, we have our ice, crushed ice. There we go, try and get some of it in the glass. Just about halfway initially. Ooh, that's the way. Like that? Wonderful. Now it's alright, use our spoon. Stir. <clears throat> now the purpose of this stir <laughs> is not only to make a lot of noise, but also obviously to chill down the drink. But other than the mint and a little bit of syrup, we've just got pure bourbon or in your case whiskey. Yeah. So it's also to just mellow it down a little bit, yeah, so yeah. it makes it a longer drink. So it down. Exactly. Yeah. Easier to drink then. Okay. 
Then we top it off again with more ice. The amount of ice that we're using, yeah, absolutely, is part of the reason it's uh, such a lovely summer drink, really. There we go, hopefully there should be enough in there for you. Yeah, two minutes more? Yeah. Mm, no, we need some more. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful preparation. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it literally needs to go to the top. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. Oh, free pouring getting broken. <laughs> Is that alright? Go on. That's it. Lovely. Hey. I've never seen so much ice in a drink before. <laughs> right, we'll just give it one final stir. Just to compact it down a bit. There we go, so the drink just sits <clears throat> on top. Wonderful. Garnish with a nice sprig of mint. Little trick to this. Your mint, my lady. Take the mint, back of the hand. This is a joke. No, not at all. <laughs> Smell that? Yeah? We just releases some it. of the oils. So a couple of nice hard wax on the back of the hand. <laughs> um, just releases some of the oils. And then we just tuck them in. I thought I was going to take the leaves off. This. Yeah? Nice. Then you get the aromatics from the mint. So then as you go in for a sip, you put all of the aromatics. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, your usual response. My usual response really is strong. strong. <laughs> it does taste nice and minty, and fresh. Absolutely, it's fresh, really yeah. fresh, really refreshing drink. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to swap. See what the okay. difference. See what mine's the Yeah. Confirm that yours is the best. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Mm. I do actually prefer mine. Yeah. Do you? Yours are stronger, I think. Oh, I prefer the bourbon, actually. Because you like stronger drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Makes sense. There you go. Um, yeah, mint julep. So, a quick overview on the recipe again. So, we've got simple syrup, mint leaves, muddle them together in the bottom of the glass, a little bit of ice, about halfway. Give it a good stir with a spoon, top it off with ice, a little bit more of a stir. I missed the bourbon, didn't I? <laughs> Mint leaves, um, sugar syrup, muddle, add your bourbon, add your ice, stir, top off of ice. As you garnish with mint, you can add a straw and drink it with a straw if you want to. Mm. I personally don't like drinking with straws. You've got to there, that's what I find, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, most people do serve it and drink it with a straw, I'm just not a fan of straws. Um, it's not like I forgot to get them out at all. <laughs> <laughs> and mint to garnish because then it gives you all that beautiful aroma. So, as always guys, I uh, hope you like the video, come and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, also go to the website, if you haven't been over to the website yet, drinkswithbond.com, um, over the website not only do we have all the videos that we do and all the posts on Instagram, we've also got blog posts on all of the drinks, the Bond drinks, in all of the films, and I think I'm now up to Goldeneye, so we're getting towards the end. So hopefully, by the time the new film comes out, I would have done all the rest of them. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Thank wonderful. You. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To your very good health. To your very good health. And to yours. Cheers. Cheers.